Hi friends, welcome to this class. And in this class, I am going to discuss how to prepare indoor in our classroom. That is by Fisher Indoor Synthesis. How we are going to prepare this indoor. So now we are going to prepare indoor in our class. So what we do is we take this phenyl hydrazine as I have written here. We take phenyl hydrazine and we, we consider a carbonyl compound in acidic medium. We are going to react them and we are going to get indole. But how it happens, the mechanism uh, with that we are going to discuss here. So first we should know what is phenyl hydrazine. We know that hydrazine, hydrazine is written as NH2, single bond NH2. This is hydrazine. If I replace one of the hydrogen, by phenyl group that is C6H5 then I, this is known as phenyl hydrazine which we want to prepare indoor but also we know that if this hydrogen here hydrogen will be there if this hydrogen is replaced by NO2 and this hydrogen is also replaced by NO2 then we are going to get 2,4 dinitro phenyl hydrazine that is we call it as D N P H 2 nitro diphenyl hydrazine. Diphenyl hydrazine. This is the main test to distinguish whether the given compound is carbonyl or not. Only the carbonyl compounds use 2 4 DNPH test, that is 2 4 dinitrophenyl hydrogen test. Other compounds, none other than this carbon, they are not going to give this reaction. And the indication will be this 2,4-dinitrophenyl hydrazine will be orange in color. When the carbonyl compound react with this, it forms a product hydrazone that is also a orange. So that is the indication of the given compound is carbonyl or no. So let us consider this phenyl hydrazine. Phenyl hydrazine is C6H5 group. Let me write this like this. C6H5. Then I have got NH. Single bond NH2. This is phenyl hydrazine. So I am going to consider a carbonyl compound. So let this be the carbonyl compound. What it is? CS3 group is here. CO ketone group. If I write here H, it will be aldehyde group. CO means carbonyl compound. So what happens is this H2 and this oxygen is going to be eliminated as minus H2 water is eliminated. So the our next what we get is this is our next product. Here I am going to have NH next here N. See this double bond it gets double bond here and this carbon will be there. I am not going to show that carbon just I will show by this hydrogen and here I have got CH3 group. Isn't it? I got this intermediate. Since this reaction is taking place in acidic condition, so what happens is it consists of H plus ion. Because a solution is called acidic only when it consists of H plus ion. H plus ion. If the solution is basic in nature, then the solution will be having more number of OH minus ion. Since it is taking place in acidic condition, so more number of H plus ion. This H plus ion, which is electron deficient, is going to interact with this hydrogen because it has got lone pair of electron, which is rich in electron. So this is going to attack this nitrogen because since it is rich in electron. So what we get is we get the same compound like this, but the nitrogen gets positive charge. See here NH and here let me show N, H, double bond, hydrogen and here CH3 group, isn't it? But nitrogen got positive charge. Why? See this is neutral and this is positive charge. Totally it has got one positive charge. Here also it has got only one positive charge. It means it is conservation of charge. So the organic chemistry deals and it is everything about conservation of charge. So this is our intermediate. And we know that since nitrogen is more electron negative, it can't have positive charge. So what it does? It takes this electron density towards itself and becomes neutral. But this carbon gets positive charge. So this carbon what does it means? It eliminates this hydrogen as proton that is H plus and it takes this bond which here. 
So our next product will be like this. Here I got phenyl group. Then here I got nitrogen in H. And here I have N and it became neutral. Why it became neutral? By taking this electron. So I have got one single bond here. And here here. And here double bond. Double bond. And see, there's two numbers. Because one H went as a proton. So this we got. So what happens is here we get a sigma tropic rearrangement. This we will study in uh, pericyclic reactions. So just you remember like this. Double bond will shift here, and this double bond will shift here, and this double bond will shift here. In presence of acid, H plus ion. Acidic medium. Then what we get is C. This is our phenyl group as it is. Double bond is here, M. Yet it has got. And here no bond. That bond is shifted here. But here we have got one bond. Like this. This and here C is there. Next carbon. Here I have got hydrogen. Here two hydrogens. And here double bond, nitrogen is there and one hydrogen and this H plus attacks this so it is like H plus H plus has attacked here so it became positive positive charge isn't it? so then what happens is since nitrogen got positive charge since it is electron it can't help so this electron density shifts towards this nitrogen as it shifts towards nitrogen, this becomes electron deficient. It got small positive charge that is delta plus. But this nitrogen has got lone pair of electrons. So it is gonna donate here to this carbon, efficient carbon. It will donate this to lone pair of electron and it becomes electron deficient. So it takes this electron density towards it and this proton moves as H plus and this bond just here. I hope it, it has been clearly explained. If you don't get, you please stop the video and again you see exactly what happened. Let me explain again. If you want, let me explain it again so that it will be clear. Let me rub this and I will explain it clearly. The structure what I got is, see this one I got. This was my structure and double bond N, single bond H and here what I got is double bond N, single bond H and H H here also I got and this was my structure isn't it? Because of H plus ion attacking this it got positive charge. So what it does it takes this electron density on itself so that it can become neutral once it becomes neutral but this carbon gets partial positive charge so this this uh, nitrogen is having lone pair of electron so it donates this to this electron deficient carbon once it donates this to electron deficient carbon it becomes positive charge so to become neutral it takes this electron density towards itself so it became neutral but this carbon became positive but here you know there will be hydrogen this hydrogen moves as H plus and this bond is going to shift here so everything will be clear now so the next compound will be like this here I have got this group again I got double bond here now what happened let me write this by straight line like this and see this is straight line and this one let me write here there will be bonding between nitrogen and this electron deficient carbon. So there will be bonding between nitrogen and electron deficient carbon like this. And it has got H and here it is one pair of electrons. But this nitrogen will be here like this. N H2. But this time it has become neutral by taking that electron density. And H will be remains as it is. Since it is taking place in acidic medium H plus. So what happens is this H plus ion again attacks this nitrogen. So it becomes NH3 plus. So I am going to represent, I am going to show here only. So H plus ion attacked here, so it got plus charge. So what it does to become neutral, it takes this electron density and 
becomes NH3 with load there, neutral. It became neutral ammonia molecule. So this carbon got positive charge. So what happened? See, this is our structure and here I have got like this. Nitrogen is here and H group is there and this got positive charge, this carbon. So here we have got hydrogen. This hydrogen moves as proton H plus and this bond shift here to give us indole. That is the synthesis of indole. See here. This is the indole. Totally here 6 pi electrons. 8 pi and 10 pi. Totally 10 pi electrons. So it is aromatic and it is heterocyclic because of this heteroatom in the ring. So this is the, the synthesis of uh, indole by Fischer indole synthesis. In next class we shall discuss about quinoline and then we shall stop the discussion on heterocyclic compounds. If you like this video please share with your friends and give me thumbs up that is give me like and if you feel any new topic I have to teach you then go below and comment over in comment box and let us meet in next class till then take care and have a good day. Bye.